We've unboxed the video doorbell kit and these are all the accessories along with the video doorbell that you would get and we'll introduce to you to each one of them. The first one is the video doorbell itself. Um, the second one that you have is the video doorbell is actually uh, fit to your wall or where your actual doorbell is and you'll have a back plate and a back cover for the same. You'll have a memory card that goes into the video doorbell, a 32 GB memory card, which will store all the videos, um, an instruction guide on how to install, how to configure. Um, and you will have an 18650 2500 mAh lithium ion battery, which is actually used to power the video doorbell when there is uh, you know, no power. Um, in order to charge the battery, you have a power supply. So the, the battery is always continuously charging. And when, the power, when there is a power cut or any of those situations, the video doorbell runs out of battery. And then you have a chime. So basically when the video doorbell is, the doorbell is pressed, the chime would ring and also you would get a call on your phone. So the chime is actually a replacement for your actual doorbell. Um, and finally you have three, uh, you know, AAA batteries which would power the chime. The chime actually is powered by AAA batteries um, or it can be powered uh, directly uh, through mains. Now you have a few more accessories here which are smaller ones. Uh, so basically the one that you see here, the wires and the screws are really used to connect the power supply, uh, the output of the power supply to the backside of the VDB and these wires are used for the same. Uh, then you get two screws which are actually used to, you know, uh, screw the back panel to your, either to your wall or to the two module junction box where a doorbell is generally kept. And you have Allen keys which generally uh, puts in this video doorbell, uh, locks the video doorbell to the back frame so that uh, no theft can happen on your video doorbell. In this video, we will show you how to install the 18650 lithium ion battery into the video doorbell. The video doorbell has a back frame. Remove the back frame. And then there's a battery cover. Remove the battery cover. You will see the battery holders now. The lithium ion battery has a flat side and a button side. The button side should be facing the top. If you reverse it, it will damage the video doorbell. So please take precaution to ensure that the button is actually facing the top. Now we insert the battery into the video doorbell. And you'll hear a prompt which says the camera is now ready to begin pairing, which means that the battery has been inserted properly. Now close the battery panel and the back frame. So we're going to show you how to install the memory card into the video doorbell. Uh, first thing is you ha you'll have a back frame for your video doorbell. So you have to slide it out. Okay. And the next thing is the video doorbell has a top frame, which will again remove it. And what you'll see here is a USB and a memory card holder. Okay. So what you should do is turn the memory card around okay facing the video doorbell and insert it into the video doorbell and press it you'll feel a spring like action so if you don't feel a spring like action then you're probably inserted in the wrong way so the memory card should be facing front and you install it into the video doorbell and it locks in okay and post that you close the top panel and slide the video doorbell back into your back frame in this video, we're going to show you how to pair your video doorbell with your Wi-Fi network, uh, which will allow your video doorbell to connect to your Wi-Fi network uh, to access it. So the first thing is put the battery into the video doorbell as shown in the previous video um, and ensure that you're getting a prompt. Okay. Once you're getting a prompt saying the camera is now ready to begin pairing, in your Atomate app, at the bottom right, there is settings. There is device settings and then configure new device and then choose video doorbell. This would send a ve uh, verification code to your uh, email account. So go to your email account and check if you've got a verification code. So you would have got a verification code. The camera is now ready to so type this verification code into the Atomate app. and then click on verify so what this asks is allow ask you for your network uh, location permission and this is required to automatically figure out what wi-fi network you're connected to the is now, ready now it has pre-populated my wi-fi network now given the password of your wi-fi network
So now you'd be displayed a QR code. So what you have to uh, next do is take the QR code and ensure that it is scanned by your video doorbell. Keep it a few centimeters away and uh, until the video doorbell says it has received the pairing information. You'll hear a prompt called pairing information received, at which point you can click on I heard a prompt. And the pairing is successful. Now your video doorbell has connected to your Wi-Fi network. And then you can add it to a group. So this basically ensures that in your home you have different rooms. So this shows, shows where is the video doorbell installed. So generally we, uh, you know, you can choose the entryway where the video doorbell is installed and click on save. Okay, now the video doorbell has been configured into the Atomate app. Uh, you can go into the entryway and you'll see a smart video doorbell over there. If you click on the video doorbell, it'll ask you for microphone permissions to ensure that, you know, uh, it's able to um, uh, use the microphone. Now you'll see that the video is streaming. Okay, and this is the video from the video doorbell. So you can, you can also favorite your video doorbell which means that if you go to the home screen you will see the video doorbell in your favorites okay you can directly access the video doorbell from here thank you we're going to show you how to pair your video doorbell with the chime okay uh, so the video uh, the chime comes with a uh, three AAA batteries which is battery powered or it can be connected to a usb micro usb charger uh, so it works both but do not connect both at the same time only charger or only battery okay so and the chime has two buttons uh, the one on the uh, left side of the chime uh, which shows the music symbol uh, actually changes the tune and it has 30 different tunes and if you press it you can cycle through the tunes so you can keep cycling to, through different tunes about 30 tunes and it cycles um, and on the right side of the chime, you have the volume button. It, it has four different volume and an off setting. So, for example, volume reduce, volume reduces, reduces, and it turns off. And after it has turned off, when you click on it, it goes to the maximum volume. Now, this has to be paired with the video doorbell so that when someone presses the video doorbell, the chime starts ringing. And in order to do that, there's the volume button press and hold the volume button for five seconds you'll get here a beep and there's a light blinking and within five seconds you will have to press the button on the video doorbell otherwise it will stop so right now the chime has stopped pairing so again press the button for five seconds until you hear a beep and within five seconds press the button on the video doorbell the chime beeped so now the video doorbell has paired with the chime. In case you know anyone rings your video doorbell, so automatically the chime will start ringing. Yes. So uh, the video doorbell has been connected to your Wi-Fi network. The chime has been paired with the video doorbell and the app has been configured. Now we will show you what the experience is like once everything is configured. So when you press the button on the video doorbell, the chime would ring and you'd also get a call on your mobile phone. So uh, the video doorbell, as soon as the video doorbell wakes up and connects to your Wi-Fi network, you would get a call on your cell phone saying that you can accept or reject. So when you accept the call, it will automatically connect your video doorbell and you will be able to have a conversation on the mobile phone. This is the regular calling bell that you'd find in any house. What we're going to show you in this video is to how to replace this with a smart Wi-Fi video doorbell. Now that you have powered off the supply to your calling bell uh, by turning off your MCB, it's time to remove the normal calling bell. After you have removed the calling bell, what you'll see are two connections to it, a yellow wire and a blue wire. It could be different in different scenarios. Over here, yellow wire is the phase wire which contains the power supply. Blue wire is the calling bell wire. And there is also a black wire which is not connected, which is the neutral wire. 
in order for the video doorbell to be powered up the neutral wire is mandatory so now what we will do is remove the face and the uh, you know calling bell wire from the regular calling bell Now we have the yellow wire which is the face wire and the black wire which is the neutral wire and we have powered on the uh, supply to this using the MCB. Um, we have a, um, a multimeter here which shows the voltage at these wires. What is important is to put the multimeter into AC mode and actually test the supply is 230 volts. So we are going to test that there is actually 230 volts between these two wires. We see that we are getting around 237 to 240 volts which is okay, we will be getting anywhere between 220 to 240 volts. So we have now verified that these, this is the right neutral wire and right phase wire, we are getting 230, 230 volts approximately at these two points. So this is the power supply that we would be connecting, so this will supply the power to the video doorbell. So what is required is that there is an input side which is blue and brown and there is an output side which is red and black. So the input side, brown should be connected to face and blue should be connected to neutral. And on the output side, the polarity does not matter. So the next step is to connect brown to face, which is the yellow wire on our side and blue to neutral, which is the black wire on our side. Okay. Now that the power supply has been connected, turn on the AC mains using your MCB. The brown wire is connected to the yellow wire and the black wire is connected to the blue wire so the phase and neutral have been connected now the next thing is to check the at the output of the power supply you should be getting 12 volts so we will put the um, multimeter in uh, the DC mode and we're going to check the power supply Now power off the mains once you have tested the 12 volts from your power supply. Okay. Now the next step is to take one of these wires which has a screw hook at one point and an open end at the other point and uh, connect this to the output of your power supply which is the black and red wires so that this can be connected. Now we ha have a back plate and the panel. So what we have to do is take the two output wires from the middle of both these panels okay, now the wires are coming through the output now it's time to actually screw the video door then back a uh, panel is placed, uh, placed uh, uh, and aligned uh, we are going to screw it back into the junction mode. Power off your mains using the MCB and ensure that there is no power supply before connecting to the video doorbell. When it is powered off, ensure that the two wires, the screw wires that have been connected to the video doorbell, you put a screw in there and directly connect it to the video doorbell. Ensure that you do not connect these power, uh, power supplies, uh, the two points, when the power supply is on, it can damage the VDB. So make sure that the power supply is off and then connect these two screws along with the wire to the VDB to give the power supply to the VDB. So now that everything is set up, the last part is to secure the VDB with Allen key so that no one can steal it, uh, avoid it from thefts. 
So we have two things. In your um, you know, box, you'd have an Allen key and an Allen key screw. And these things have to be connected at the bottom in the middle. So what we're going to do now is take the screw, take the Allen key and secure it from the bottom of the wheel. Here we will show you how to log in to Atomate app using your Google account. So when you open your Atomate app, you will have two options. One is continue with Google and the other one is login or you can create an, a, an account. So for the create account is generally used to create an account uh, to log in with email, uh, whereas continue with Google can use your existing Google accounts. Okay. So we, in this video, we will show you how to uh, log in with your existing Google account. So when you click on continue with Google, you will be shown the list of your Google accounts. Um, here we're going to log in using the Atomate Video Doorbell account. So all you have to cho choose is your account, uh, Gmail account or Google account through which you want to log in. Tap on your account. And that's it. You've logged in. In this video, we're going to show you how to log in into Atomate app using any email. Uh, for that, you first have to create an account. When you open the Atomate app, you'll have two options, continue with Google and login. Uh, and below login, what you'll see is a create account option. Tap on that. Now, given any of your email that is active, we're going to type in Atomate VDB at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, so and we're going to type in a password, let's say atom8123, 8123. Okay, so this throws an error saying that the password has to be secure, it has to have uppercase, lowercase and special characters. So we're just going to modify the password to ensure that it is secure. Okay, so now we say next to create the account. So once you create the account, you will have to you know verify your email. So go into your email and look for email. So you would have got an email from Atomate Smart Homes. Uh, one thing that is very important is if you don't find any email, try to find it in your spam uh, or any other folders if it has gone into that. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna click on this link over here to. Yeah, your email has been verified. Now you have to go back into the Atomate app, okay, and continue. Okay, so my text. Okay, so now it has logged into the Atomate, uh, you know, account on uh, using your email. Okay, so if you uh, already have an existing account, you can just click on login, give your email and password into. In this video, we will show you how to give access to your video doorbell to your family members. In order to give uh, access to family members, the person who has paired the video doorbell should have to give the access. The person who pairs the video doorbell for the first time becomes the default owner of the device. Now, before the owner can give access to the family member, first thing is the family member should have install the Atomate app on their phone and logged in. Okay, so uh, in this uh, video we are showing that, uh, you know, we the family member has logged in to the account. Go to settings and we will see that uh, what is the email through which it is logged in. So the owner for us is atomatevdb at gmail.com and the family member for us is atomvideodoorbell at gmail.com. So now we clearly see in the video that we've logged into the family member's account. So go to the device settings, 
configure new device click on video doorbell this would start the verification process for the first time now an email verification code has been sent to atom video doorbell at gmail.com now check the email if you have not received any email verification code ensure that you check your spam to um, ensure that you've not missed out so we see that the verification code is 908621 so 908621 enter the verification code and click on verify that's it so now you have verified on the family members account the video doorbell now you don't have to continue you can click on back 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 and ignore the rest of the steps and go to your home screen now the setup of the family member in this video we will show you how to give access to a family member in order to give access to a family member ensure that the family member have their account set up on the atomate app if not please refer to the family account uh, setup video uh, before continuing with this now what we see is that we are in the owner account right now and you can verify that by going to settings and you will see that the account through which you've logged in is atomatevdb at gmail.com which is the owner account and the way you verify it's an owner account is come to the home screen and you see that the smart video doorbell and the entry group have been created which have been shown in the pairing video now in order to give access to a family member who has already set up their account on atomate click on settings click on device settings click on access control you'll get an option called add a new guest click on add a new guest enter the email address of the family member dot com so now you will see that atom video doorbell at gmail dot com who is a family member has been authorized uh, to use the video doorbell so now the family member would be able to access the video doorbell we have already shown two things until now one setting up family member account and verifying in the atomate app the second thing is giving access to the family member from the owner account once you've given the access from the owner account to the family member uh, the video doorbell will appear in the family member account so now in the video we've actually logged into the family member account if you click on settings you will see that the account is atom video doorbell at gmail.com which is the family member so and the way you verify if you know where the device appear is that in the ungrouped section of the app you will see that a vdb has appeared so that is the video doorbell the family member has been given access to the next step would be to click on this video doorbell click on add to group at the top left there is an option called choose type so you have to actually choose the type of a group so you can click on that and click on entry way and save so now what you'll see is the same video doorbell has been put into the entry way group of the family member and it will ask you to give a bunch of accesses and now you will see that the family member has access to the video doorbell and is able to access the video stream